Yo, watu wangu nguvu karibu sana ndani ya FM African Documentary. My name is Felix Munda and this is where we bring you nothing but the best entertaining stories of the day. And as of right now news coming and our news desk is that Pastor Ezekiel should be answerable of some money that he has made out of the preaching arena. Because right now the police have filed a case to, to in, in Shanzu Law Court for the Shanzu Law Court to allow the DCI to freeze down 15 bank accounts linked to Pastor Ezekiel Mavueni, New Life Church. Uh-huh. Mafisa wa polisi wanauliza, wanauliza samani. Pastor Ezekiel, account 15 ambazo unazo ni za kufanya biyashara gani? Eh? Why should you have 15 bank accounts linked to your church? How much ma- amount of money do you generate from preaching and from spreading the gospel that you must have at least 15 bank accounts for you to at least have money to build such a connection? So people, the, the police have a theory that Pastor Ezekiel has been involved in money laundering. Let me remind you, mtumishi wa mungu Pastor Ezekiel Odero Obaka amefikishwa leo katika mahakama ya shanzu na yupo kizimbani kungoja uamuzi wa mahakama kwamba, kana kwamba anakesi ya kujibu dhidi ya mashtaka ambao ya metolewa kwa yeye kuhusika na mawaji ya alaiki na kuweza kuweza kuwa lagai watu na pia kutumika katika uoshaji pesa. Hmm? Unajua kuna kuosha pesa ambako tunakujua the wash wash type of money laundering deal ambayo unafanya biashara na watu ambao watu ambao wanafanya biashara chafu na biashara za magendo wanatumia, wanatumia o, zile pesa ambazo wanazipata kwa sababu hawawezi aswa dhihirisha wameweza kutoa wapi hela hizo kwa muda mchache ambao wamekuwa katika biashara wanakuwa approach wewe kama mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye waumini wa wako ni wengi na unajulikana katika Jamhuri ya Kenya kwamba umeweza kujaza ukumbi wa Kasarani umejaza ukumbi wa Kisumu Mombasa Kilifi so wanaamini kwamba wewe eh, serikali itaweza kuwa na dhana ya jinsi ambavyo umetengeneza pesa zako so wana ku approach wanakuambia hivi sisi tuwe tunatumia wewe fungua account kutumia jina lako sisi tutakuwa tukituma pesa kiasi cha mamilioni haya kila wiki sijui tunaelewana fungua account ambazo sisi we can at least put a few millions every week to some 20 million kila week so link the accounts to your church so tutakuwa tukitoa ni kama sadaka tunatoa kanisani. So wakitoa they are very untraceable. So if they are untraceable you cannot define whether the money was legit or was fake. Hmm. So ndio serikali inajaribu kutafuta the connection of the 15 bank accounts to different people that have been contributing the biggest amount of money at Pastor Ezekiel's church raising a question should not a person can 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 a person just not get rich for spreading the gospel pia hii ni biashara nilishawaambia ukitaka kuwa tajiri katika hii nchi kwa wakati huu fungua kanisa wewe fungua kanisa na bibi yako he fungua kanisa na bibi yako the, let me tell you tumeona how these people believe in church? To me, on the government of William Ruto, how it believes in church? How they donate in church? How they contribute in church? The government of Rigadi Gashago, how they go ahead to give money in church? So why can't the church be rich and you people are funding the church? You aren't even funding the, 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 the people and giving the people the requirements they want. You fund the church more than the people nowadays. So why shouldn't they be rich? Acheni kuweka mambo kwa roho ambayo ni mambo yanaumiza huma na yanaumiza jamii because if you have believed typically that something good comes out of the church and we can donate a million Kenyan shillings to the church why should not I go ahead and be rich as a preacher kwa sababu hizi account na ili neno na wapea pia mimi natumia jasho i'm sweating na sweat 
Pastor Ezekiel that man has lost voice several times kwa kurusid akiwahubiria akisema kwa neno la Bwana na la Roho Mtakatifu We are told dhahabu na fedha ni zake Mwenyezi Mungu na ndiye ambaye ametupa so mbona tusiwe matajiri na tunamwamini Mungu ano ada kama wanajaribu ku create a theory although pastor Ezekiel has filed a complaint restricting the government from freezing his bank accounts which are linked to his new life church international yeah leo mahakama sana 8 itakuwa ikitoa uamuzi kana kwamba pastor Ezekiel ataendelea kushikiliwa kwa siku zingine 30 ama atapata kuachiliwa ama kana kwamba ana kesi ya kujibu na ata, kama ataachiliwa how much bail should he be released on ataachiliwa kwa bail ya pesa ngapi huh? but hii ndio shida kuwa mjaluo mara wamekuja wakapiga kanisa yako picha wameweka internet wanaonyesha you are flouting how you are living in money watu wanaanza kukuchunguza tu for no reason at all na hata kama pesa yako ni legit hawawezi amini ni legit you know lazima ukue mwanasiasa kwa hii nchi ndivyo anaamini ama mfanya biashara ambaye anafanya biashara na serikali so that you can be rich but we hope the pastor will be fine hii ni fm african documentary jina langu ni felix mwanda